Okay. How do I look? Yeah, it's still me. I'm wearing my Halloween costume. I might get a little steamed up in the glasses here, but uh, for those of you who know my oldest son, Jacob, you know that he was uh, blessed by uh, ending up looking just like his mother. <laughs> so I think that's why he grew a beard. So I figured I get this for my Halloween costume. I'm going as Jacob. And now he still can't get away from looking like his mother. How's that look? There. Hi, Jake. Anyway, I'm going to take this off now so I'm not muffled anymore. There. Clean shaven. Haha. <laughs> anyway. If those of, those of you who uh, read my newsletter article this month, you know that I encourage people to wear silly masks like this one or whatever for... The whole month of October, let's just try to lift each other's spirits. If there's a bag of candy you want to carry around with you and hand out to the people with the best masks, that'll be great. I think we just need to make the most out of this uh, mask wearing order and just have some fun with it. And so that's what I plan on doing. I'm going to bring some candy around. I'll hand out candy to people whose masks I really enjoy and uh, maybe lift their spirits as well. So do what you can to be uplifting this week. And that's going to be my message to you today. Um, as our preaching schedule doesn't have me preaching a new sermon this week, I just wanted to have some prayer time with you. Share the prayers that were lifted up in worship today um, and just ask that you encourage one another in all that we're going through. Um, but I wanted to open us today with the opening prayer that we had in worship in our churches this morning. And so could you please just bow your heads and uh, let us welcome God into this time. Almighty God, we gather to worship you. And we ask that you be with us as we pray and lift up all those in need. Be with us as, as we hear the news of the church. And so, we thank you, God. We thank you for this convenience of having online prayers. And so our opening prayer, Living God, move among us and awaken us to your loving presence. When we lose our way and put our confidence in our possessions and our wisdom, call us back to you. Remind us that our very identity is dependent on your abiding mercy. Show us how to walk with steadfast faithfulness, following the path of justice and goodness in our daily lives. May our days be filled with joy and hope as we share the good news of abundant life that comes from following Christ Jesus. In the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Now, I wanted to share some of the announcements that uh, that were shared in, in worship today. And first of all, um, things are coming along. We are still going to have our chili soup supper on Election Day. Um, we're really looking forward to it. It is going to be drive through only this year uh, because of COVID. Everything changes because of this, including our chili dinner. Um, but we really think it's going to be a, a fun way for people to continue the tradition of having their chili or vegetable beef soup on election night, along with those wonderful homemade desserts. Thank God for those bakers. Um, and if you'd like to, to donate financially, you can do so. Uh, you can send your um, 
financial offerings made out to Shared Covenant Ministries with Chili Soup Supper in the memo line. Make those out to say, or send them, make them out to Shared Covenant Ministries, but send them to Sandy Coleman uh, in Horicon. It's uh, her address. I'm not going to share with you online. <laughs> but uh, if you're a member, you know Sandy's address. Please send them to her. Um, anyway, we do need some helpers for the day of the the dinner. People to run back and forth to the cars, dr not run with hot chili, but walk out the, the orders to people. Um, also, we need some people who can scoop up the food and prepare it in the takeout containers. Um, any way you can help will be greatly appreciated. And uh, Rita is our contact person for that. And again, if you're a member, you know who Rita is. You can get a hold of her. Um, those dangers of the internet, you know. I gotta keep that in mind. Anyway, we have our Wisconsin Annual Conference coming up this Saturday. We're going to be showing that on our sanctuary wall for those who do not have um, internet at home but do wish to, to watch the proceedings. So this Saturday, October 24th, from 9 a.m. till 5.30 p.m., we'll be here. We'll be in the sanctuary watching the proceedings. Um, it's going to be a long day, but uh, we'll... We'll take our breaks and do what we can. Um, also, we are still planning on having our cookie walk in December. It'll be on the 12th from 9 a.m. to noon, and that means our bakers can start warming up their ovens and getting their favorite Christmas cookie recipes ready. Um, we are going to be doing it. It's all going to be prepackaged items and uh, COVID safe. As much as we can possibly keep people safe, we will. Um, so more information on that to come, but thank you. And also, one of the members of our Horicon Church, Lunga, has written a play. And he's going to be interviewed today um, for the local newspaper. He's uh, The play is about a half an hour long, and it's going to be a drive-in play. The audio will be over Facebook or over YouTube. Um, and it's just, it's a new endeavor. It's something that, you know, when, when life throws COVID at you, you need to adapt and make the changes. And so I'm really looking forward to this, uh, to this play and Lunga is too. Um, so if you have, um, need for more information, um, let me see, I guess it would probably be best to look Lunga up. Uh, on Facebook, and uh, I'll put his information on the video description for you. Um, and other than that, that's about it for announcements. I'm so glad that you joined us today and that uh, we can be together to share this time. Um, I'd like to now kind of go over those prayer requests that we had in worship today. And so we uh, have some birthdays uh, in the Horicon Church that we wanted to lift up for this week. We've got um, Ron and Kathy both have birthdays on Friday. And so let's see. And also Devin is going to turn 15 tomorrow. So happy birthday to you all. And I believe that Mike is also in our Juno congregation, also having a birthday on Friday. So have a great birthday. Sorry I wasn't in Juno today to see you all, um, but uh, blessings on that day. Um, we want to ask for people to be praying for Steve from our Horicon congregation who's having some back spasms. I pray, Lord, that uh, there be healing because. Uh, it's, it's a terrible thing to be to be put taken out like that and not be able to do what you want to do. Um, so Steve, we're praying for you. Um, also, we're praying for Terry, who's who's had some major infection in her body. Um, she's been having um, some health problems, and so we just want to keep Terry lifted in our prayers and uh, 
Terry, if you're watching this, know that we are in this with you here. Um, we also lift up the people of Louisiana and give thanks for organizations that are going to help people. Um, we heard about an organization called Mercy Chefs that is making hot meals for people who haven't had a hot meal in absolute ages, it seems. And so blessings on them and their ministry and all those organizations that are there to help people in this time of struggle after trying to, re well, after getting hit by two hurricanes and trying to recover from all of that. Um, in our Lowell congregation, we prayed for Shirley, who is um, recovering from a heart attack. And Shirley, we, we pray for you. We pray that all goes well in your rehabilitation and that you can be home very soon. Um, we pray for all of the people of California and Colorado and anywhere else that's experiencing these wildfires. Um, we pray that that God sends rain to quench these fires. We pray that all of the firefighters and uh, first responders are safe. We um, are also so grateful that our church families are doing well. Um, there have been a couple people who, who've gotten the flu or a cold lately and they were afraid that it was COVID, but it turns out that they, it wasn't COVID. Um, so, so far we haven't had any cases within our congregation, um, but it could happen. And so we ask that God protect us. Um, our entire church family is, is truly that, a family. We, we love each and every one. And uh, also we lifted up a young girl whom we have been praying for. Her name is Ava, and she was in a, a mountain biking accident and is paralyzed from the chest down. Um, so we lift Ava up, prayers for healing for her, and uh, all who, just so much thanks for all of the people who are donating to help her out and pay those huge medical expenses and transportation expenses and oh there's so much there's so much but thank god that uh, it's a community pulling together to help Ava out so that was all that we had and so I ask now that you join me in a, a time of prayer where we can go to God and ask for that strength that we, we need in the coming days Almighty God, we give you thanks for those special days in our lives. Especially we lift up those who are having birthdays this week. And we ask, God, that you be there with them as they celebrate. Also be with those who are having wedding anniversaries. Help them to remember all of the wonderful things that they saw in each other all those years ago, what drew them together. And Lord, we ask that you be with those who are having marital problems. Help them to do just that and remember what brought them together. Lord, we also lift up Steve as he is in a lot of pain with these back spasms. We pray that you bring healing to him. Give him the comfort that he so very much wants right now. And let him be resting easy. We lift up Terry in the surgery that she'll be having soon. We pray that all goes well for her. And we pray for speedy healing and that the infection be gone. We pray for the people of Louisiana who were hit by two hurricanes 
And we pray for all of the organizations that are down there helping them to, to rebuild and regain some strength. We lift up to you Shirley, who's quarantined right now and in her uh, rehabilitation center. We lift up all the shut-ins, Lord. There's so many people we haven't seen in so very long. And we ask you, God, that you watch over them and keep them healthy and strong. And we pray that this COVID nightmare be over with soon. We lift up all of the people who have lost their homes and their property because of the wildfires in California and Colorado. And we pray for your healing rain to pour down on them and douse these fires. But until that day comes, Lord, please protect the firefighters and the emergency workers. Protect the residents who must flee from their homes. And keep them safe. Keep our families in your care as well, Lord. We give you thanks that that uh, we haven't had a case of COVID yet and we want to keep it that way. Our congregations have been strong so far. We pray for your continued blessings to be upon them. And Lord, we continue to pray for Ava as, as she is working hard in her recovery after her accident. We give you thanks for all of the people who've, who've given financially and decide to give more because there is such great need. And Lord God, we lift up to you the congregations that are struggling. There's so much going on in in churches these days, the United Methodist Church, we of course lift up with, with us facing a division. But we also lift up that because many churches are not open, that there is uncertainty in their future. And so we pray, God, that that you bless the hearts of all those who go to the church, all those who go to you and use each church as a vehicle to get to you. Be with them all. Almighty God, we lift up all of these prayers in absolute faith and trust in you that your guiding hand will see us through the difficult time that you may continue to be our shepherd, guiding us even when we wander. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. I'm going to put this down and be able to see the screen again. Thank you for joining me for that. It's always good to be welcomed into your homes and, and to have a time together. Now you know what's going on in the church and who you can be praying for and and I pray that you do that. You keep all of these people in your prayers as we all are in this together. Whether we're together in body, mind, or spirit. So, may God bless you this week. Amen. <laughs>